this is James P. Louvier, better known as Dr. Hands on Science, and this is my Louvier car. There you are. And I've got it uh, tethered or tied to a post over there because uh, I want to see how it runs around the post. It's not going to run around many times because it's only got a rubber band. But if you make the Louvre electric car, which is uh, powered by an electric motor, with a, uh, batteries, uh, it can run a long time around and around. Okay, so let's see how it's going to work. I'm going to zoom out a bit so that we can see the whole thing. All right, ready, set, go. Now, if this car was uh, powered by an electric motor, you could expect it to run for hours before the batteries die. So uh, you can uh, do some interesting things. You can use it as an exhibit at a PTA meeting or invite the local uh, TV station to come and uh, and uh, make a, a feature of it. Uh, you can take it to the youth center and teach kids how to build it, how to use it. And uh, for a science project, you could try different kinds of batteries, different brands of uh, alkaline, alkaline batteries in the little thing, if it's powered by an electric motor. And uh, you could find out uh, how long say uh, battery A brand would run and then run it on battery B brand and see how long that one lasts and battery C and sometimes you'd have to uh, watch it all night and all the next day having people monitor it in turns you know in, in shifts because it's going to run a long time and uh, this is a science project that would be pretty interesting I think to see if you can prove that one brand of uh, battery works better than the other. Um, the car is tethered by uh, a string. Let me show you a little bit more of a close-up of that. This is uh, a string and there's two uh, paper clips on the bottom of the car here placed so that the string doesn't run into the wheels. And then uh, it's tied with one string to the post. And on the post, over here, we have a, a, one big paper clip that's uh, bent around so that it forms a pretty nice uh, little, little holder. And it's not tight. It slips around pretty easily. But as you remember, if you're doing a controlled experiment, you can only change one a factor or one uh, component at a time and see what the result is. So if you're going to test for how long batteries last, the only thing you're allowed to change is the brand of the battery, okay? Uh, so you don't want to get the different kinds of setups with each kind of battery. You want to keep one consistent setup and one consistent post and so forth. So take all that into consideration. You can have some pretty interesting controlled experiments. Signing off now. See you back on YouTube sometime. Bye.